Hey guys, welcome to my recap of round 19 of the NRL. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this because, in my opinion, this is probably the most controversial round of the year. So let's get into this video and, in my honest opinion, uh, what I thought of what's happened. <laughs> take on the Cowboys and get the win here 16-14 which is pretty good considering for most of this game the Cowboys led 14 points to 4. I think the Cowboys will be very disappointed with themselves in this match. Um, they've hung in there but they're losing games by very close margins unfortunately the Cowboys. Um, I think Scott Drinkwater is a massive buy for them. I'm not going to say he's the buy of the season but for the Cowboys side he's definitely fantastic at fullback. They've found someone who can play long term. He scored the first try of the match in the third minute, um, but I, I thought he was really good. The winger, Ronaldo Matolio, for the Sharks was fantastic as well. I think it was his second game, but he hasn't played for a while. And Bronson Cherry returned to um, try scoring form. I thought Sean Johnson was really good in the second half as well. The Sharks really quiet in the first half. He didn't do much, um, and he, he wasn't anything special, but he definitely played a lot better than he has played lately. But the Sharks got the two points here, back in the winner's circle after five losses, 16-14. The next game was the Newcastle Knights taking on the West Tigers. This was Robbie Farah's 300th, which I forgot to mention last week. And both Robbie Farah and Benji Marshall, the 300 veterans, scored a try in this match. I thought Benji Marshall was absolutely fantastic in this match. He really stood up for the Tigers, showed signs of leadership. Corey Thompson, back in try-scoring form, gets a double Within 15 minutes, two tries in the first half. Um, and, and that really, really brought momentum for the Benji Marshall, Benji Marshall try. Um, but the Knights, man, they're really... I don't know. They're going to start winning games, I think, towards the end of the season. But I just don't know. They're on the cusp out of the eight now in ninth position. I don't know if they're going to win many games. I thought the Caelan Ponga try was really good. And I thought he was fairly good for... Um, the match. I thought Mogar was really good in the centres as well. I think it was his first game back from injury, if I'm not wrong. Um, but yeah, the Tigers were too good here. Um, in regards to the officials making that decision, I think Caelan Ponga was making a tackle on Michael Cheekham. I don't think it was deliberate. Did it deserve a couple weeks? No. Will Caelan Ponga get off the judiciary? We'll have to wait and see. I thought it was a really tough call, Sim binning him, um, in my opinion. But the West Tigers were really good here, and I think they can continue this. The next game was the South Sydney Rabbitohs up against the Dragons. Now, this first half was extremely boring, um, but the second half was absolutely action-packed. The Rabbitohs taking away the win, 20 points to 16. Thought Gareth Widdop for the Dragons showed real leadership, and he was fantastic. The debutant, Jason Saab, scored two tries which are the only tries for the Dragons. Obviously, the Dragons are struggling at the moment, but I think they really deserve to win this match. I think they were really done, done hard by. I thought the try from Campbell Graham, as good as it was, I think it did look forward, in my opinion, and that's from someone who tipped the Rabbitohs. I'm just giving my, my honest thoughts here. Um, and that really cost the Dragons this game. The It should have been 14-16 to the Dragons. That kick from Gareth Widdop from the sideline should have won them the match. That would have given them a chance to the finals. I think the referees have taken this away for them. Adam Reynolds had a shocking night with the boot. One out of four. thought Dane Gagai and Cody Walker, who both scored tries, are really good. Um, I backed Cody Walker for first try score, I think, and he scored second, so that was annoying. But, um, yeah, no, I thought that the Dragons were probably the better side in this match, in my opinion. And it's up to you whether the pass was forward. There's going to be a few of that in this video, but I enjoyed this game. The next game was the Eels taking on the Warriors. Now, let me get something straight here. I'm not going to hate on the Warriors in this video, if that's what you think is going to happen. And I'm going to say that the amount of dislikes on my video is disgraceful. I've, I've, I'm losing my patience at the amount of dislikes being thrown at my video just because the Warriors lost this match. I want to say that even though I think that the pass was forward, which is a very, very tough call, and this is from someone who supports Parramatta, so I should be all for Parramatta. There was a knock-on from Gutherson. There was a knock-on from Brown, not called. Two out of the three Chanel Harris-Tavita strips, yes, fine, penalty. 
One of them, the player stepped away. It should have been play on, in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying the Warriors should have won this match, but I'm not saying they were robbed either. Both of these teams really didn't turn up. I think the way that the Eels played was really gritty, and I think they kind of deserved a win, but it was a close game to call, and everybody that's hating on me and hating on the Warriors are just... I can't take it. It's, it's really frustrating. So that, I just wanted to get, get that rant out because it's obviously not my fault. I thought Mike Acevo was brilliant. His fend on Blake Ashford to pass the ball to Takarangi was fantastic. The Moses to Gutherson try in my vlog, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out, um, was phenomenal. It was absolutely phenomenal. It was one of the best moments in the game for me. Um, and I thought Isaac Luke had a really good game as well. But that tackle... Well, it, it just, I, I think he'll get off at the judiciary. We'll have to wait and see. But it wasn't needed. It was a real dog moment in the game. Um, but I think both teams played a little dirty. Um, there was a good scuffle. But you, you just can't blame it on me. I, I'm not an official. And I understand the officials have been demoted. But I think Parramatta played a little bit grittier. And I do think the pass was forward, but I did enjoy the match. The next game saw the Titans, who are really struggling at the moment, up against a really strong Brisbane Broncos side. Katoni Staggs got a double, and boy, was he fantastic. Matt Lodge scored a try, and Corey Oates returned to some really good form, I thought, in this match. Um, I don't have Corey Oates on Supercoat, so I wonder what he scored, because I thought he was pretty good. Reckon he might have gotten between 60 to 80. Um, as for the Titans... They looked a little bit better as of lately. I mean, they scored a few points against the Storm, but they're really struggling, and I really would not be surprised if they do end up with the dreaded wooden spoon. A try to Michael Gordon and a try to Anthony Don. Michael Gordon kicked two from two. Jermaine Asako, five out of six. Thought it was a fairly average game, and I thought the sin bin of Tavita Pangai Jr. was fair. Um, and... I wonder what will happen. I think the judiciary might give him a few weeks. But an overall alright game of football. But it put the Brisbane Broncos into 8th place. The next game was the game of the round. And it is also probably at the moment in my top 5 games of the year. I was going to put it in 2nd place. I'm going to have a look at that and make a video later in the year. The Melbourne Storm up against the Manly Sea Eagles. This game was a freaking treat. This game was fantastic. And the fact that Manly won this 11-10 and Manly scored one try and Melbourne scored two in the uh, shape of Will Chambers and Brandon Smith. If Cameron Smith would have kicked that goal, I think Melbourne would have won this game. Now, Melbourne lost off a forward pass, but there were a golden point thriller and lots of attempts for field goal. I can't believe Dylan Walker attempted. You had Brodie Croft, Cam Smith, Cherry Evans too, I think. There were about six field goal attempts, and then Cherry Evans seals it off a forward pass from the Melbourne Storm. This Manly side are definite contenders, and if you're a Manly fan, there's a lot of things to be happy about right now um, in the Northern Beaches. They were fantastic. Ruben Garrick, once again, thought he was a really good player. Cherry Evans, Tommy Turbo didn't cross the line, but he, he definitely should have. Um, a fantastic game of football. I loved every second of the match. The next game I went to, if you haven't seen it, go and check out the video once again. Uh, the Bulldogs versus the Roosters. Now, I've got to say, this game was freaking boring. I, I did go to it, and I was watchable. It just was crap. There were errors from both teams. I thought the Bulldogs were the better team on the day, personally. I thought Victor Radley was really, really good for the Roosters. Um, and James Tedesco, once again, he was the first try scorer. He was in outstanding form, as well as Joey Manu. Joey Manu almost got a double in this match, but his foot was on the line. Remus Smith got a double for the Bulldogs. Lachlan Lewis made a lot of errors, but I think we'll, we'll see um, a lot better from him as he as he does return from injury. The whole Bulldogs team, though, are making errors. Corey Harabira Naira played fantastic. He's been playing some good footy. Um, but the Roosters, they really look off here, and I think they completed 74% if I'm complete, which is terrible. 20-12, to 12, it was a really gritty win, and I, I think I said in the video, but if the Bulldogs would have taken the two points, they would have had a chance of sending the game into extra time, but a, a boring game of football at ANZ, in my opinion. 
And the final game of the round, the Penrith Panthers taking on the Raiders. Now, a lot of people thought the Panthers were going to win this on the back of eight wins, but I was always for the Raiders. 26-22 was my score prediction. It ended up being 18 points to 30. John Bateman was easily the best player on the field. The Aiden Caesar try was also fantastic. Josh Papali, the whole Raiders team is looking amazing. They are, as well as Manly, a genuine threat. I don't know, I think Melbourne could play Canberra in the grand final. This is my opinion at the moment. Jared Croker was a bit off with the boot, missed three out of six. They had the chance to make it, that would have been 36-18. But a really enjoyable match. I love watching the Raiders side. I thought the Shans nickel Klockstad try was a bit soft, but um, they were just fantastic. Um, Brian Toto from Penrith, once again, really great. Brent Naden was fairly quiet. I didn't even see him with the ball most of the game. And James Maloney was fairly good, but Raiders too good here. Anyway, guys, please do subscribe if you did like the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Um, let's reach a thousand subs. We've hit that over 900 mark. Let's get to a thousand. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow in my round 20 predictions, and I'll see you guys then.